Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. I've been sent a selection of wines from Bright Cellars. It's a, a company that sends you wines based on a, a seven question quiz. And I find that really interesting because when it comes to tasting new wines, I'm always a bit nervous. Obviously I have my favorites, like I guess we all do, and you tend to stick with those. And you look at the other wines on the shelf and you think, um, well, what about, what about that one? What's that one like? Will I like it? Will I not? Well, <clears throat> the thing with Bright Cellars is you just do this quiz, questions like, um, what's your favorite chocolate? How do you like your tea? Strong, wheat? And they send you a selection of wines then based upon those choices. The joy of Bright Cellars is they help you discover wines that you'll love. And my quiz, I ended up with four reds and two whites. I'm gonna focus on the whites because I want to cook a salmon dish today, one of the recipes from my second cookbook. So I've got the Color Fest, which is this one here, and I've got the Gladiolas. I mean, you wouldn't even pick these out in the store, would you? You wouldn't. But if they've been recommended to you, then, well, why not? Why not try them? I love wines that have been recommended to me. I'm really interested in this one, this cab, because this cab, world line. So we'll give that a try a little bit later on with some ribeye steak. These two white wines, the Color Fast and the Gladiolus. Now, you also get tasting notes, education notes, cheat sheets. Imagine sitting down at dinner with friends over and you've got your card here and you can read off all the tasting notes. You know that tobacco on the palate and um, you know all the fancy things that those sommeliers say. Well, this one, the Gladiolus, tropical fruit salad with lime dressing. That won't help today. Spicy chicken, mm, that's not gonna work. And relaxing bubble baths. <laughs> now, that one now has gotta go back in the box because there's no way you are gonna see me drinking this in a relaxing bubble bath. Not that you'd want to anyway. <laughs> Color fast, listen to this one. Passion fruit cheesecake, spicy chicken, weekend housework. This is weekend housework, cooking, so I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna pair this one with a chia and sriracha crusted salmon with a roasty bell pepper sauce from my second cookbook, The Royal Chef at Home. Bright Sellers are offering a 50% discount on the first order of six bottles. I put a link to the description. I put a link in the description, there we go. I put a link in the description below so you can place your order. Well, it smells good, but I'm gonna try it in a minute because I need to get cooking. To pair with this full-bodied California white blend, I'm going to do my chia and sriracha crusted salmon. It's so tasty and probably one of the most popular recipes in the Royal Chef at Home. I need some rice first. Now, a lot of people are scared of cooking rice. They have the rice cookers, that's easy. But if you're cooking in a pan at home, don't put gallons of water, throw in rice and boil it. It's, it there's easier ways than that. Foolproof recipes. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan and then into there add your rice. Then I'm going to add two cups of water, warm water, and then bring it to the boil. Give it a stir, turn it down low, put a lid on and let it simmer for 18 minutes. Don't lift the lid, let the steam really expand that rice and make it cook. Also, I'm going to serve it with a roasted bell pepper sauce. Now, this is amazing with the salmon, but it's even better with chicken and lamb. It's just incredible. So, real versatile sauce. Easy to make too, and gluten-free. Bell pepper. So we take the bell pepper and just cut it in half. I'm using the red bell pepper. I want that beautiful orangey red color that you get uh, from this. Now, once I've got this, I'm just going to take out the stalks and get rid of those. Next, I've got some onions that I'm going to drop into each one.
and a little bit of garlic in there as well and some salt and then some olive oil into the oven 350 degrees and we let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes till it goes nice and soft and the onion goes all soft too because we're going to blitz that into the sauce next my salmon i've got my rice cooking i've got my bell peppers in the oven so we'll roast those and now the salmon the salmon's going to take about 10 minutes in the oven we normally allow about 10 minutes in the oven 400 degrees for each inch of fish. The topping for this, we could just put salt and pepper, but that's boring. Instead, what I like to do is put some mayonnaise, sriracha, and just stir those together. Now, I just need a little salt under my salmon, not too much. I don't need pepper, because obviously the pepper is in the sriracha. Now, I can take this beautiful color and then just move that around on the top there. Next, I've got some chia seeds. Chia seeds are a superfood. They're full of healthy fats, fiber, protein, and I'm just going to sprinkle those over the top. Next, I'm going to transfer my salmon onto some aluminum foil. That's aluminum foil. Aluminum, aluminum across the pond. <laughs> Putting it on there really helps with cleanup. You may not be able to see, but I've actually got the skin on the salmon too. And I prefer that as well. It gives it the flavor while it's cooking, but also when we come to lift it off, it's so tender underneath, it doesn't stick. And the skin actually sticks to the tin foil, aluminum foil, aluminum foil. So many different languages, right? And that helps then with cleanup into the oven, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Now, while everything's cooking, we've just got to wait for the glass of wine, some Bright Cellars wine, color fast. I always recommend with wine pairing is to taste the wine first and pick out all the flavors and then have some of the food that it's been paired with and then taste it again. And I promise you, it tastes different. It really does. You can smell the fruitiness in this, the citrus. How did they know I would like this? Just with those seven quiz questions. Now I want to open all the other bottles and try those too and just have a little taste just to see. Look at this, Cactus Park. Who would ever buy that? Who would ever pick that up and open that? We'll see how different it tastes once we've had the salmon. Once my peppers come out of the oven and I've given it a chance to cool down a little bit, I can take off any of the little green bits on there, the stalks. Don't worry about a few seeds, won't hurt at all. And make sure you save all these gorgeous juices in there so it goes into the blender with any of these juices. And into that, I'm going to add a little chicken broth. Blitz it until smooth. Once it's blended, then we can check the consistency and the seasoning. If it's too thick, then we want to add a little bit more chicken broth. If you really want to, you can add a little bit of cream in there, but not too much. You don't need it. It's really rich as it is. I can taste the garlic and the onion, the salt. There's plenty of salt in there. So now into a pan. Look at the gorgeous color on that pepper. Gluten-free, as I said. And it's so easy to make. We'll just warm that so that it's just perfect for when the salmon comes out of the oven. 18 minutes on the rice, covered. Remember, bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, leave it for 18 minutes and just let it cook away. We'll always work on the ratio of two to one, two parts liquid to one part rice, okay? So I use one cup of rice, two cups of liquid in there, and then it's fluffy and gorgeous and there's no water in there, it's all evaporated, it's all in the rice. And so I'll just move that around a little bit, add some salt and just a splash of olive oil. And that's perfect rice pilau. I'm going to leave that, I'm not gonna cover it, I'm going to leave it just to cool down a little bit. If we cover it, it leaves the steam in there and it's gonna carry on cooking. I don't want that to happen. So that is ready now for when our salmon is. Once my salmon comes out of the oven, it's been in there for about 10 or 11 minutes. 
It's gorgeous and tender on the inside. It's got that crust of the skin underneath it and another crust on the top of those chia seeds nestling in that sriracha mayonnaise. You notice I didn't put any oil on top of the salmon because the oil, the fat from the mayonnaise, helps keep it really, really nice and moist. Now, just time for plating. The rice is so light and fluffy. And then the salmon, I'm going to go underneath the fish with a spatula between the actual salmon and the skin. You can see how the skin is stuck to the aluminum foil. And that's just easy now for cleanup. Fold it up into the trash. Then my pepper sauce. If you add a little cream to this, a little bit more chicken broth in there as well, it makes a gorgeous roasted bell pepper soup. A little cilantro for garnish. And there, my chia and sriracha crusted salmon with a little rice pilau and a roasty bell pepper sauce from my book, The Royal Chef at Home. It smells delicious, but I wonder how it's gonna pair with the color fast. I know this is good. I've tried it so many times. I love the crispy crunchiness there of the fish. Well, I mean the top part there with the chia. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous, especially when it's in the sauce. One more taste of the wine, yeah. I could see how it's a weekend housework wine. Perfect for pairing with spicy foods. That's a good pairing, Bright Sellers. Take advantage of this special offer that they've got right now for my subscribers. 50% off your first order of six bottles. It makes it $55, that makes it under $10 a bottle. Try it, see what you think. Read the education tasting notes and just let Bright Sellers help you discover wines that you'll love. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make the salmon dish. It's gorgeous. See you again soon.